When running power and ground wires from the front of the vehicle to any accessory loads, make sure that these wires are not bundled together. Do not bundle a bunch of power wires with a bunch of ground wires. The current flowing through each individual load will cause interference in the neighboring wires, and this could cause disruption and interference amongst electronic devices. A very important component of reliable circuit design is having a dedicated power source for each load that we have in the car. It doesn't matter if we have a computer or an amplifier or stereo in the front, in the back, or the middle. Each device should have its own power source. And the reason for that is pretty simple. Think of it in your house. You notice that the lights flicker when a high load device comes on. So if your dryer cycles or dishwasher comes on, you'll notice that the lights briefly flicker. That is electrical noise. It causes the voltage to dip and that disrupts the flow of electrons. When computers and control modules are concerned, much like is in the level ride system, it is critical that we supply a clean voltage source to the control module. Otherwise, the issue that we're going to run into is that voltage dip and then the interference caused by, say, a stereo or things like that nature are going to interfere with the computer and they're going to cause erratic operation. Now, in the case of the level ride system, failure to run a clean ground and power source can lead to loss of communication with the Bluetooth module. It can affect Bluetooth range. You can also run into problems where you lose calibration of the system. It can cause the computer to turn on and off. The reason for this is simple. It's just like if you have a low battery on your car. When you crank the car, voltage drops because a lot of the battery's energy that's stored is being used to turn the engine. So if the voltage drops below a threshold, for mostly all computers, that threshold is about 10 volts, okay? But if the voltage drops below that threshold, that is what the computer requires to stay alive, then the computer will start to malfunction, it will turn off in some cases, and it can cause it to mix its signals. It can't work. So in the case of any electrical application, any accessory that we put on our car, we always have to run a clean power source to that device. Now when we run power wires, we do not want to run a whole big cluster of cables, even though they're all running to the positive battery terminal or the negative battery terminal. We want to keep these separate with at least a foot of distance between them. The reason being, and this is especially important with the compressors and stereo systems, the more amperage that is drawn through a wire, it causes that wire to generate electromagnetism around that wire, okay? Why that matters to us is electromagnetism is how our alternator charges the battery. We have a magnetic field, it passes through a wire, that induces voltage. So anytime that we have a cluster of wires bundled together, when one load turns on, say you have subs going, or your compressors kick on, or you have fans or TVs, when those things come on and start pulling power, it causes that magnetism to be induced in the respective wire, which will cause the issue of inducing dirty voltage signals in the other wires. Now, if it's something like just a light bulb or that, that doesn't matter. But in the case of control modules and computers, that, that little bit of interference can seriously mess up the operation of that computer. In smallest cases, it'll cause you to lose calibration and you'll have some issues with computer reliability. In the most extreme cases, if the surge is large enough, you can cause computer damage. So always run a clean power wire from the front to the back. Always run a clean ground wire from the front to the back. Give each load source, each accessory that we install, its own power and ground source from the battery. Also, if in doubt on the wire size chart, if you don't know what wire to use, always go bigger. Bigger will not hurt you. You will pay the price if you go too small.